Welcome to this short abstract presentation titled A Normalized Fully Convolutional Approach to Head and Neck Cancer Outcome Prediction. My name is William Lee from the Medical Labs at UC Archip. In this work, we explore using deep convolutional neural networks for outcome prediction using FCG PET CT images. The motivation is to reduce the overall time frame for the patient from diagnosis to end of treatment by providing the clinicians with the expected outcome for this particular line of therapy, in this case, radiotherapy. For this, FDG PET-CT images from 298 head and neck cancer patients were acquired from the Cancer Imaging Archive head and neck PET-CT public data set. From each of these modalities, the 2D slice were extracted using the GTB with the largest surface area. In terms of pre-processing, isotropic resampling, image resizing, and normalization was performed. To increase the effective data set size, we also performed data augmentation. The classification task in this case was binary survival outcome prediction at the end of the follow-up period. Our proposed model is a deep convolutional neural network with two sets of improvements. The first shown on the left is the FCN preprocessing network. The goal of this is to perform task-oriented image normalization. This was shown to be effective in a previous study by Michal Drozdal for a liver segmentation task. The second set of improvements was to replace each convolutional layer with an aggregated residual convolutional block. This was shown to be effective while reducing the number of training parameters in the now popular ResNex model. In terms of training and evaluation, the training split presented by Martin Valier in their original paper in 2017 was used. In this, two sites were used for training and validation purposes, while two sites were kept for testing. To combat that imbalance, an 8 to 1 resampling strategy was used. In combination with that augmentation, this helped model convergence. Here we compared the results of our model with the baseline CNN, which was implemented in 2019 by Andre Diamant and collaborators. As well, we show the model performance as trained on each of the available modalities. We can see that our proposed model at the bottom performs the best on the PET-CT images. As well, going down that column, we can see that each of our architectural changes improves the model performance monotonically. This supports the idea that these architectural change helps improve model generalizability. If we look horizontally across each column, we can see in italic that models in general perform the best on the PET CT inputs. Surprisingly, the baseline CNN performs the best on the mass CT inputs and not on the PET CT. It could be that in this case, a reduction in noise is more beneficial than an increase in inputs. Finally, if we look at the second and last row for the models using the FCN normalizer, we can see that the model performs the best in order on the PET CT, the CT, the mask city, and finally the PET images. We hypothesize then that the FCN is more effective at performing image normalization on richer inputs. And given that the CTs are in general have higher pixel depth than PETs, this confirms our idea. In conclusion, our proposed model, as well as incorporating both PET and CT images, improves over the state-of-the-art performance for deep learning methods on this particular dataset. Thank you for listening. My name is William. Please enjoy the rest of this virtual conference.